have sort of tentative ideas in the back of my head, but um, you know, it's kind of with horses, you have to really listen to them, and they're going to tell you what to do anyway. Um, so, so your so your fans can expect lots of mileage mileage on cross country. Yeah, we we, we uh, yeah. I, I think I need more practice than the average guy, um, <laughs> and, and I, I always think that I should be a lot better than I am with all the practice that I get. And uh, you know, these poor horses put up with me. Um, practicing away and um, you know I'm uh, so lucky to have the the horses obviously that I have that um, you know the people um, trust me to take care of and compete and do everything with and um, truly take it as a privilege that anybody would even think of having me take care of their take care of their horses and trust me to compete them and allow me to do what I do and so um, I, uh, I really do, I really, you know, I, I'm very grateful for what I have and realize that I'm so fortunate because I'm certainly not smart enough to be doing anything else. And so the fact that I can stand out here in the sunshine in beautiful Ocala, patting the best horse ever, and this is my job, is, is, is now, so lucky. The first weekend of Ocala, you rode nine horses, and that ended up being close to 16 miles. Can you just take a guess? What do you think we'll have come the end of the year? How many miles Buck will have rode in cross country? Well, I have no idea how many it'll be. It depends how many times I fall off. <laughs> <laughs> um, I probably, you know, I probably ride more miles than than most people, but I, I can certainly, sh I'm sure, I hit the ground more times than most people. So. Um, well, maybe we'll add that as part of the competition. Yeah, we'll say how yeah. many times will we hit the dirt? Yeah, I'm getting older, so I, I try not to fall off as much, but. Um, you know, the horses get better, and, um, you know, hopefully, you know, I start riding a little bit better, but... Um, well, we counted up how many shows, and we counted up how many horses, and we think for sure you'll break 500 miles. I am probably pretty, you know, uh, that sounds like you guys are way smarter than I am, so uh, <laughs> that sounds good to me, but I can guarantee you that there's a lot more than 500 miles in every day's training, so, um, you know, with all these horses and... Uh, all the, all, the, all the people here. Um, How many horses um, do you think that you'll sit on in competition this year? What do you think? The I don't know. It, it depends. Um, you know, it depends on um, kind of lots of different things, but, uh, you know, usually probably around 30, 35, 40. I don't, I'm not really sure. Um, depends, you know, like, like for instance, my wife is, is pregnant um, right now, so I've, I'm riding a couple of hers, so that, that happens, and then... Last year, Sharon White um, had an injury, and um, so I rode some of her horses. And um, so, um, you know, it, it, it just sort of, you never really know, but, you know, you'd be pretty pretty safe and sane somewhere between 30 and 50. Okay. Now, we do notice that um, every time you do cross country and uh, you jump a show jumping around, you have flare strips on your horses. Um, why is that? Well. We're talking about miles, and we're talking about horses lasting for a long time. And Flair has been uh, a part of my program for as long as I can remember. And um, I mean, you know, my horses have. I think as they breathe easier, obviously the whole competition is easier for them. And if they're not getting tired, then they're going to stay sounder longer. And um, you know, I really think that Flair is a big, <clears throat> big help to me in in, in that situation. And. Um, and in the show jumping, it's a, a good way to, after they've had the exertion of the cross country the day before, to make sure their airways opened up and um, they're feeling as fresh and as happy as possible. And um, you know, all my horses uh, thrive on it and go better with the flare strips.